Uh, Pete, obviously a disappointing defeat, but you're also playing a very good side. You thought your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I think you know we said to the lads before we went out. You know, Stafford have been together now for perhaps about 15, 16 months. So you know, he's, he's obviously got his, his nucleus of his side, and he's added to it. So they're very, very strong. They're strong up front, and they're very, very strong at the back. You know, and uh, I just felt that you know. <laughs> Having said that, I thought our defending was shocking. You know, I think uh, I think the first goal, I think it was a foul. I think he's, he's, he's caught Lewis Bergen just as he's going to try and clear, and he's got a goal off it, so, you know, fair play. But the other two, you know, we, we're arguing on the left-hand side of the park about a free kick. They've taken the free kick, they've gone down the other end, and they've scored. Mm. Excuse me, I'll have to cut that out, won't you? Anyway, uh, you know, but, I mean, from then you look at the third goal, uh, Warren's had a chance to clear the ball, He's got the ball at his feet, he's only got clear it and easily takes it off him and puts the ball back at the net. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's woeful defending, you know, and uh, I just think, just think overall, uh, you could see that they were an organised side uh, and you could see that, you know, we're trying to put a side together. Uh, I thought when Kinsey come on the last 15 minutes, I thought he did a job. Uh, I didn't think we kept the ball up top mm. easy enough. Uh, you know, when Kins come on, I thought we, we, we got hold of the ball, but... Uh, overall, you know, decision making, you know, Jack Sherrick goes down the line, gets in a good area and decides to shoot when there's three or four people in the box. Just rolls the ball in the box, we score a goal. And it's just decision making, but, you know, he's a young kid, he's got to learn. And, you know, I just said to Warren and there, you know, he, he, he nearly gave a penalty away. You know, he got the wrong side of the kid and uh, I just felt he should have done better. And if they want to keep the place in the team, then they've got to obviously defend properly. And we haven't done that tonight. Uh, I thought Dakers was a pain all night. I thought he causes loads of problems. Aisley's always about, you know, he, he's a good player, he's quality. Uh, and I just think, uh, you know, they, they were the better side on the night and we have to accept that. But I can't accept the way we defended. Uh, I thought it was shocking at the back. Uh, you know, I thought we'd give the ball away for fun. You know, we didn't, uh, there was no, there was no, uh, how shall I say, Nobody got a real good title in, you know, and maybe got a booking for it, you know, and, and that's missing in our game and talking is another thing. Do you think when the other players come back in, because you're obviously missing three defenders, I think, tonight. Yeah, so I think, you, you I think, need I think to come back. listen, at the end of the day, I'm not going to make excuses, but yeah, when you have such a result like that on Saturday, when you're under the cosh for, you know, maybe, maybe 70 minutes, mm. 80 minutes of the game and you've defended really well and then you lose three of your defenders, yeah, it's a big, it's a big step. But these lads have got a chance to come into the team. It's up to them to say, right, you know, they're missing, I'll take the shirt. And tonight they didn't do that. You know, they were, I was really disappointed. And, you know, I've just said to them, we've got to get his heads up. You know, if they play like that on Saturday, we'll be out the FA Cup as well, you know. But uh, we've had a good chat with them there. All three of us have given them a rollicking. You know, uh, they know what it's about. If they want to play for this football club, uh, they've got to put a shift in. When you say that, I mean, have people got to be realistic with how disappointed they are with tonight, or, or can they be quite? Because, you know, a lot of supporters are saying certain things, a lot of people saying certain things. It's early days. It, you've listen, got to give it time, listen, and you say you listen, don't think until the I'm end of sorry, September. I'm not going to agree with what the supporters say. They've got an opinion. Mm. At the end of the day, it's about what me, Kins, and Buck think. You know, at the end of the day, everybody's got an opinion. You lose the game, you win the game one none, and you're the best team in the world. Mm. You lose the game three none, you're the worst team in the world. So that's how Speckies look at it. But tonight, we were poor, we were woeful. <laughs> and yeah, I'll apologise to the spectators for that display play tonight uh, but you know from our point of view we've got to look at it and maybe we need to move a couple of players on that perhaps think they're better than what they are and maybe we need to bring a few players in so that's the reality of it you know but I'll still say we're only four games into the season you know and four games into the season isn't enough really to see what you've got I haven't had what I consider my full team out yet you know and uh, you know it really is disappointing yeah when we have a performance like that on Saturday and then we have two or three players missing and Unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. I've just got to make sure that we can turn the side out. So th this weekend now, is it a welcome distraction in the FA Cup? Or I suppose in some ways you want to get your first three points on the board as soon as possible in the league, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I think, I, think, uh, I think the thing is, I mean, I'm not making any excuses, but we have had a tough start. You know, we've had a tough start from my point of view. Uh, you know, I think, I think we should have beat Goal. 
Okay, we didn't beat Goole. Uh, you know, Chase Town was a tough game. Colville was a tough game. Stafford Rangers is a tough game. Uh, we've got an FA Cup game, then we've got another tough game on Monday against Newcastle Town. So, but you know, for me, uh, Saturday's game can't come quick enough. And if we can put a bit of put a win under the belt, then obviously it'll give them confidence for Monday.